Hey, yo! What's poppin', my people? It's your boy. Back at y'all with another video. Today we're gonna be doing something a, a little bit different. Just a little bit. We're gonna be doing a tier maker on anime fights. I might make this a series. I don't know yet. We'll see how this goes, right? So we're gonna start with our first anime being Naruto. My favorite anime of all time, if y'all don't already know that. Well, well, your name's Hokage. Of course we're gonna know that. All right, whatever. So we're doing Naruto part one. There's not gonna be any Shippuden fights in here. If you wanna see Shippuden fights in the next one, smash that like button for your boy and we'll get it done for you. But for right now, all I need y'all to do is sit back, relax, make sure you got your snacks. Let's jump right into the tier maker. All right, my people, here is our list right here. So we got all the way from S ranking, going all the way down to not really a fight. When I was looking at this tier maker, I was like, okay, there's a couple on here that's not really fights, fights really. So we're not gonna, you know, we're not even gonna rank them. We're just gonna throw them right into the not really a fight. So, but let's go ahead and kick it off with the first fight we got going on right now is Sasuke versus one of the sound ninjas. I don't remember his name, who cares? But this is the fight in the prelims of the tuning exam that Sasuke was over here struggling with that curse mark and all that he ended up pulling out this new technique lion's barrage i don't know where the heck he had the time to even learn this and stuff like that it was a cool fight it wasn't all that you know but it was a cool fight i'm gonna throw this fight in the sea because they could have had sasuke fight somebody real mean in this prelims but they didn't by the way i'm gonna be harsh second fight we got shino versus i forgot his name i really forgot this guy's name from the sound village with the with the air coming out of his his palm and whatnot. This is where we realized like Shino's not no one to mess with, bro. Shino is low key tough. I don't know what they did to Shino in uh in in Boruto, but hey, listen. But this fight here was short. Uh, this guy, he thought he was really about to intimidate Shino and stuff like that. Uh, I think I'm gonna throw this fight in the same category as Sasuke in the prelims, bro. It's not nothing too crazy. Next we got Kiba versus naruto uh naruto versus kiba was a one-sided fight at one point bro kiba was really putting hands to naruto bro and uh akamaru was going crazy too and naruto ended up showing that like he's not no dumb kid but he ended up bringing out his own little technique that i don't know where he learned it or where he had the time to do it naruto uzumaki barrage was born in here and it was kind of funny how he won he farted in kiba's face and yeah so I'm gonna give it a B just because it was Naruto versus Kiba and it was one-sided. Naruto showed that he is not dumb, that he knows what he's doing. Another prelim, goodness. Look at that, like the first, the next five or six, seven, gosh, are prelims. I don't know who made this list, but they just started throwing stuff together. Hinata versus Neji. Neji is my boy. He did not have to do Hinata like this in this damn fight, bro. If y'all don't know, go watch that fight. That shit was crazy. But Neji went crazy. And so did Hinata. Hinata really showed her side. Like, she ain't scared, bro. Hinata is really putting down the hands. She got the hands, bro. Again, this is another B tier fight. Because this fight had a lot more potential. And they had to show that Neji was the superior Hyuga. And it took four Jonins to stop Neji from doing what he was gonna do to Hinata, like, oh my God. Next on the list, we have Shikamaru versus the other Sound Village shorty. I don't remember her name, bro. Like, this is a, a fight that didn't even need to happen. So it was just like, a, all right, let me see how smart Shikamaru really is. And let's just throw him against the Sound Ninja. He ended up winning because she hit her head against the wall off of Shadow Possession Jutsu. Crazy, C tier. Easy. Conqueror versus this guy. I don't even know who the hell this guy is. Another sound ninja guy because they all had the purple. You know, this guy was running with Kabuto and them. Instantly put it in a D tier. Sakura versus Eno. Sakura versus Eno was as bout as a fight that I thought it was going to be like. And when I say it like that, it sounds weird that I say it like that, but it ended the way I expected it to end. And Sakura was really trying her hardest to like show that she got some, you know what I'm saying? She got a little something in her and she can still do her thing. She, you know, ended up cutting her hair on this fight too, just to match Sakura type shit. I don't know, it was weird. Uh, the background, the storytelling on this fight was actually pretty good. It was a lot more storytelling than uh, fighting, but the fact that it ended in a draw is the way that it should have happened. I think based off the background storytelling, it's a C. All right, the fight we've been waiting for, Gara versus Lee. I don't even have to say much about this because most of y'all, even if you're not anime fans, y'all have already seen this fight or seen clips of this fight. And 
it got y'all interested into trying to watch Naruto, maybe. But if you haven't seen this fight, I encourage you to go see Gara versus Rock Lee tuning exams, S tier. Tamari versus Ten Ten, another waste of a time. Like it was just like, you might as well throw a little filler fight in there. Tamari was pretty much like, who is this shorty that's just throwing ninja's tools at me and stuff like that? Let me just whoosh, throw him away with my freaking powerful win. D. Koji versus the other sound dude that got put in a body bag by Gara. It's crazy. Another fight that happened a lot faster than it should have. I don't even think it was really a fight. Told you did human boulder, dude moved out the way, and it was it. So I'ma just put that in not really a fight. <laughs> Oh man, this fight hurts me because I'm such a Neji fan, but this fight was a underdog winning against all odds. Could it have been better? Yeah. Would I have loved to change the fight? Heck yeah. I would have definitely chose two different people. I would have loved to have seen like Sasuke versus Neji in that. Oh my God, that would have been different. The storytelling with Neji, it was very sad. Naruto unleashing his chakra and stuff like that. This is an A fight for me Kamari versus shikamaru uh, bro this fight has so much potential bro this fight here could have been like a easy a tier maybe low a tier maybe we'll throw it in the b tier next one on the list we got sasuke versus gara sasuke versus gara has so much potential it could have been another s tier fight from this uh part part one of Nar uh, naruto honestly it wasn't even a tier because we couldn't even see what the heck happened we saw the entrance he got to use chidori and then everything started going south after you know gara ended up unleashing shikaku and stuff like that so i'm just gonna throw it in b because of the the build up orochimaru versus sarutobi aka What's his real name? I forgot his real name, bro. I'm not a real fan. <laughs> Orochimaru versus the third Hokage. This fight had a lot of going on and it was probably one of the longest fights because it took freaking about 25 episodes to finish, bro. Like, come on, man. Are you serious? How long was he holding on to Orochimaru's soul with the Reaper Death Seal? Like, come on, bro. It was cool he was fighting the first and second Hokage, but it just wasn't it for me. B tier. Naruto versus Gara, where Naruto summoned finally the Toad Sage, the big guy. Had him transform into the Nine Tails, and it was pretty much. It looked like Jinjutiki versus Jinjutiki, Nine Tails versus the One Tails. Naruto ended up headbutting Gara and. Get, pretty much getting the dub out of the fight they had they realized they both are the same people they came up the same way and it was just touching it was a touching fight bro honestly this has got to be a tier for me dang they really got this all over the place going all the way back to episode one naruto using shadow clone jutsu to make like thousands to hundred thousands of him against mizuki i think that was uh mizuki but he went against mizuki but he ended up beating up on mizuki and all that stuff it was not much we didn't see much you just know that he woke up and he had a headband on simple d kakashi versus itachi this is our first time seeing itachi and our glimpse of what he is capable of doing kakashi stepped up to the plate you got guy going to the plate <laughs> It's funny because Guy came in and this is where the long who are you versus, you know, Guy versus Kisame. It's also funny because Kur and I really tried to put Itachi under a Genjutsu. Like, are you freaking serious? Do you not know who this guy is, bro? Come on, man. This is going to be a B tier fight. Ali versus Sasuke after they come back from uh, fighting Zabuzo and stuff like that. This is not really a fight. Lee and Sasuke got to throwing hands a little bit. He tried to do the primary Lotus on him and Guy stepped in and said, what the hell is wrong with you? Sasuke and Itachi in the, the the hotel room hallway, not even a fight either. Three signings, you know, Jiraiya and Tsunade versus Orochimaru. This fight was solid. It was something that we needed to see. Could it have been 10 times better? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But for that, it's just going to have to go into B tier. So was this one with Kabuto versus Naruto and Naruto actually hit the Rasengan. I feel like they're both in the same time zone and we got so excited to see Naruto be able to hit the Rasengan finally. So that's going to go right next to it. Naruto versus Sasuke on the rooftop. Is this a fight? No. Sasuke Sasuke, I guess, trying to protect himself from the uh, the sound four, not a fight. He didn't really do anything. He just like he tried it, but then he like they really put him in his place. Like, bro, we got curse marks, too. Like, you think you special? No, we're, you're not. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, oh, we're really. All right. Now we're getting into the good ones. All right. Now we got Choji versus Jirobo. I believe his name was Jirobo, the bigger guy from the sound four. This fight was crazy. 
emotional. Choji got to really like blossom from this fight, bro. This fight was definitely an A tier fight for me. Just because we saw Choji abuse himself by eating those food pills when he knew he wasn't supposed to, but he ended up going crazy and living past it. And it was great. I'm about to be real biased right now. Neji versus Kido Maru. This fight is an S tier fight for me. I don't care what any of y'all say. This fight was crazy. Z loved every minute of it. Kiba and Akamaru versus Sakon and Ukon. I'm not gonna lie to you. This fight was actually a really good fight, but not A tier good. It got to a point we saw the wolf fang over fang, and it was crazy to see like Kiba and Akamaru had so much potential. We ended up seeing uh Conqueror coming to help out and things like that. Now that I think about it, this fight was really good. I'm throwing it in A tier. All these fights here might be A tiers. Tayuya versus Shikamaru. Tayuya didn't know what the heck was going on tamari had to come help shikamaru shikamaru was really trying his best to to avoid all the genjutsu and stuff like that and stop her from using the flute so she can summon those uh those big ass monsters that she had another a tier fight this whole arc the rescue arc the like the rescue sasuke art was crazy rock lee and gara versus himimaru this is the s tier fight rock lee got into his drunk mode and it was going crazy and it was like oh, oh, fight me type you know it was cool bro like i enjoyed the fight gara coming in to save of all people we did not expect gara to come save rock lee come on now we know this naruto versus sasuke no need to explain all the way through emotionally backstory this fight is an s tier nobody's gonna argue with me with that zabuza versus kakashi zabuza versus kakashi was one of the first fights that we got to see kakashi had his quote unquote full potential in that part of the series this is before they fought on the naruto bridge so this is when we got to see the Sharingan for the first time. This is definitely an S tier fight. No questions about it. Sasuke versus Orochimaru in the force of death. A tier fight. Sasuke went crazy showing off his Taijutsu. Wasn't afraid to fight Orochimaru after a certain point when he realized there was nobody else that can save him and stuff like that. Crazy. The Sound Village 3, these three Randizis that we don't even hear about or even care about anymore. I think this is the part where like they met him up and like they were trying to attack Sasuke or take Sasuke or whatnot. And uh, Sakura ended up fighting. Rock Lee tried to fight them. Inoshikacho came in and then finally Sasuke unleashing some of his curse mark and coming through and pretty much breaking buddy's arms and stuff like that so see kakashi in his first test for squad seven team seven whatever you want to call him so this one was just like a cool laid back kakashi like hey you know i can do this but he really underestimated sasuke a little bit not knowing that sasuke knew how to pretty much fight bro he had the skills bro he just didn't have the right training up until that moment so this kind of like a b tier kind of moment we get to see a little bit of everybody's potential last and certainly not least sasuke and naruto versus haku this fight here was okay we got to see a lot of first time you know first time using shouting gun sasuke we thought sasuke was dead after a while first time naruto going crazy and unleashing nine tails potential he was just punching the heck out of those mirrors and stuff like that it was cool and i feel like it was a little overpowered for haku to begin with because if if it wasn't for naruto going into that stage then it just wouldn't have like they wouldn't have won i'm just gonna throw this in the b tier and there y'all have it, man. This is my rankings of Naruto fights in part one before the time skip. In the comment section below, if y'all see anything that y'all felt like I should have put in a different tier, let me know down below. Also in the comment section, let me know who is your favorite Naruto character of all time. Make sure you share this video with a couple of your friends. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. I don't say this often, but down below in the description, I have all my socials. Make sure y'all go follow me on there so y'all can stay up to date with what I do. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button and also turn on the notification bell so you know when I post my next video. And with all that being said, I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all day, evening, afternoon, week, and weekend. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Deuces!